So, the disappointing Philadelphia Phillies are facing off against the powerhouse Los Angeles Dodgers in LA using Stratomatic Baseball. The Phillies have been struggling, but can they turn things around against the Dodgers' strong lineup? It's a battle of strategy and skill on the virtual diamond. Will the underdogs surprise us all, or will the Dodgers dominate once again? Stay tuned to see how this virtual showdown unfolds. Hello, sports fans and baseball fans, fans of Stratomatic. It is me, Sportsman Z, and I'm back with another game in the Philly season. This is going to be game 49, and we are on the road in L.A. playing the Dodgers. Um, the first two games, I believe we lost, I think we lost both of the first two games to the Dodgers in this series. We are coming into this game 16-32, and 32, worst, team, worst uh, record in the major leagues, um, and uh, we are... I mean, we're only a game, like maybe a game worse than like three other teams, but we are the worst team in the major leagues at 16 and 32. And the Dodgers come into this game 27 and 20. So you may remember in 2020, the Dodgers were the world champions. So they are playing probably a little worse than uh, would be expected from the world champion team. Um, and, of course, the Phillies are much worse than what they were in uh, 2020. They finished 2020 just under 500, which is why I took them. I figured they would be a good team to take, but it looks like that was not a, a great idea. Anyway, so we come in. Uh, we need Obviously, we need wins to try to even just get back to near 500. Um, uh, same setup as always. We've got the scoreboard or the... Um, the uh, inning marker right here, so this will mark what inning we're in. You'll always know when you look up at the screen what inning we're in, if I'm on top of it, which I hopefully will be. And the scores are right here, 0-0, zero to zero, as you can see right here, um, for the Phillies and for the Dodgers. And with all of that, we are going to get underway. I uh, have to change out a uh, couple of dice. Let's see, let's go with, yeah, all right. So we, uh, I think we're ready to go here. And the first batter is gonna be Roman Quinn. And he gets a three nine against a righty and that's gonna be a strikeout. That is a strikeout for Walker Bueller. Oh yes, I should point out, um, here's the, the lineup for the Phillies will be Roman Quinn in center McCutcheon at DH, Didi Gregorius at shortstop, Bryce Harper in right, Goslin at second base, Hazley in left field batting sixth, Real Muto the catcher bats seventh, Baum bats eighth at third base, and Hoskins is the first baseman batting ninth. And the pitcher for the Dodgers will be Walker Bueller. So there is one down for the Phillies here, and uh, we will go to... Andrew McCutcheon, and he gets a 5-7, and that is going to be a strikeout as well. So Walker Bueller strikes out the first two batters he faces, which brings up Didi Gregorius, and Gregorius gets a 5-8. That doesn't look like it's going to be very good. It isn't. It's a fly ball to center, so F-8, and the... Um, Phillies go one, two, three very quickly. The lineup for the Dodgers will be Max Muncy at first base. Batting second will be Seeger at shortstop. The third batter is Betts in right field. Bellinger is the cleanup hitter play and playing center field. Will Smith, the catcher, bats fifth. Uh, Justin Turner is at third and batting sixth. Uh, Chris Taylor will be at second base batting seventh. A.J. Pollock is batting eighth in left field, and the last hitter is going to be Austin Barnes, the D.H. So, and they will be facing Zach Wheeler. Zach Wheeler is on the mound for us today. Put the thing back to zero, and Max Muncy is up. Muncy gets a 1-5, and that's a strikeout. So, a lot of strikeouts here happening early as Wheeler strikes out the first batter just as Bueller did. Corey Seager is the batter. He gets a 2-10, and that's going to be a ground ball to second. 
And Betts is the batter with two down. And he gets a 3-6, which is going to be a double. So Betts is up on second base with a double. First hit allowed in the game, and it is by Wheeler. And Bellinger is the batter. Bellinger gets a 6-8 batting left, and that is going to be a walk. So the Dodgers have two guys on with two down. A scoring threat possibly here with Will Smith batting. And he gets a 1-9, and that is going to be a home run. Yes, it is indeed a home run. Will Smith with a bases clearing jack out of the park. And it is 3-0 Dodgers very quickly here. Hit allowed by Wheeler. Three runs and a home run. Not looking good for us already. Justin Turner is the batter. Almost got out of it, you would think. Five to two. Um, five and two is a... Is, that's going to be a ballpark home run. So <laughs> Justin Turner hits his own home run and makes it four nothing. And Wheeler has already allowed two home runs here in the first inning with Chris Taylor. The and he gets a 2-9, and 2-9 is going to be a strikeout. So Taylor strikes out, but the Dodgers strike for four runs, and I have to go get the four for them. Just happens to be on top, which is very convenient. And it is 4-0 LA as we go to the top of the second with Bryce Harper up against Walker Bueller. And he gets a 4-7. Four, 4-7 seven. Four, seven batting left is going to be a walk. So we start off by getting Harper aboard on a walk. Uh, he works the count and gets himself aboard for Goslin. Goslin gets a 2-9, and that's going to be a strikeout. <clears throat> Third strikeout for uh, Bueller. Paisley is up. Paisley gets a 5 9 batting left, and that is going to be a strikeout. Bueller is striking out a lot of guys here. He's, that's his fourth strikeout here, and we're only uh, two thirds of the way through the second inning. And JT Real Muto gets a 6 10 batting right. And that is going to be a ground ball to the third baseman for the Dodgers. And he is a 4-E-22. That is a 14. So we'll see what that gets him. Okay, so we're going we're to look at the E rating. It's a 22. And that is a 6. 22 and 6 is going to be an E-1. So... Um, Justin Turner makes a one base error. Which puts two guys on with two outs and Baum is the batter. And he gets a 6-9 batting right. And that is going to be a strikeout. And there we go. That's the fifth strikeout for Bueller. He gets out of the inning unscathed. We go to the bottom of the second. With the score 4 nothing, as you can see. 4 nothing. Uh, Dodgers ahead and A.J. Pollock. I'm going to send uh, Wheeler back out there. We don't want to burn through the bullpen just yet. 5-9. Uh, batting right is going to be a ground ball short. So Pollock goes six to three, which brings up Barnes with one down. And that is a five seven batting right. And that's gonna be a single. 
Barnes with a hit. He's aboard. That is the fourth hit allowed by um, Wheeler. Unfortunately, two of those were home runs. Max Muncy, back to the top of the order, gets a 4-4 batting left, and that's going to be a, a ballpark single. So another man is aboard. Another hit. And this is one of the worst games I've ever seen Wheeler pitch. I got to say that. Corey Seager. And Corey Seager gets a 6-5 batting left. And that is going to be a double. And that scores a run. They don't need to be greedy here. Wheeler allows his sixth hit the fifth run of the game and there is still is there still only one out still just one out and Mookie bets up and Betts gets a 4-6 batting right and that's going to be a fly ball center field B which will score the man on third and there are two down and Bellinger up and he gets a 6-8 batting left, and that's going to be a walk. Bellinger has no official at bat this game with two walks. And both of those walks, um, those were the only two walks issued by uh, Wheeler so far. And Will Smith is up. And he gets a 3-9, and that's going to be a pop-out to third. Mercifully, this inning ends. But not before the Dodgers strike for two more in the second and take a 6 nothing lead, and I have to go get the 6. So it is six nothing. We're going to the top of the uh, third inning. And Reese Hoskins is the batter. He gets a one eight, and that is going to be a fly ball to right. Roman Quinn is the batter with one down. And he gets a 2-6, and that is a strikeout. I mean, if, you, if you've been following my Phillies here, this Phillies season, you know it's not anything I'm doing. They just are not, they just don't play very well. And yet, they were only just under 500 in real life. Two down and McCutcheon. And McCutcheon gets a 2-10, and that is going to be a single. McCutcheon gets the first hit of the game off of Walker Bueller. And he is aboard at first base with Gregorius up and two down. And that is going to be a 5-6. And that is going to be a single. So we've got two runners on. And that brings up Bryce Hart. And Bryce Harper gets a 4-10 batting left, and that is going to be a ballpark single. No, it isn't. Nope, it's an out. It is an out, and uh, that is a fly ball right. So no runs for the Phillies in the third, and we're going to the bottom of the third inning with the Dodgers in command here, 6-0. And uh, we will take Wheeler out. Wheeler is only going to go two. I really don't like doing this because you burn through your bullpen and then uh, guys become, you know, not available. Um, not available for later on. But um, in, in this case, I think it's, it's just something we've got to do. Uh, we're going to bring in David Phelps. Good morning, Mr. Phelps. And Phelps is going to have to try to give us some innings. So hopefully he can do that. 
Justin Turner gets a 3-9, and uh, that is against a righty, and that's going to be a ground ball second base. He's out 4-3. Taylor is up. Taylor gets 2-5. That's going to be a strikeout. First strikeout for Phelps. And Pollock. Pollock is the batter. He gets a 1-4. That is going to be an out. It's a pop-out to short. So, no runs come in. That's the first zero inning, and it takes um, David Phelps to hold them to that. We go to the top of the fourth. The Dodgers ahead 6 nothing. Phil Goslin is the batter. He gets a 3-6, and that is going to be a double. So, we get a double from Goslin. It might be a little too little, a little too late, but it's the third hit allowed by Bueller. And Hazley is up. Hazley gets a 5-8 batting left, and that is going to be a ground ball to the second baseman. The second baseman for the Dodgers is a um, 3-E-17. So that's a 17 and a 3. 17 and 3 is a ground ball C, so that'll move the runner over to third base with one down. Um, so I guess that was four to three. And Real Muto is up. Four, five, batting right. That is going to be a strikeout. And if you know, if you've been following also, you know that Real Muto is having an uncharacteristically bad season for us. Um, he came into... This game hitting 175. Now that's better than he's been. He's been around 140 at points in the season, but he did work his way up to 175 with a couple of good games lately. Still, he is having a bad season. And Alec Baum. And Alec Baum gets a 2 9, which is a strikeout. And there is a strikeout, another strikeout for Bueller. That makes seven for him so far. We get nothing in the fourth. We go to the bottom of the fourth, losing. I mean, we got a guy all the way to third base and couldn't get him in. Losing six nothing with Austin Barnes. Up. Austin Barnes gets a four nine batting right, and that is going to be a strikeout. Barnes is the first out in the Dodgers' fourth, which brings up Max Muncy. Max Muncy getting a 6-12 batting left. That is going to be a strikeout. And Phelps has come on and pitched excellently. Unfortunately, Wheeler gave up six runs in the first two innings of the game and so really put us behind the eight ball. Seager is up. And Seager gets a 6-7 batting left. And that is going to be a ground ball to the second baseman. So uh, the Dodgers get their second consecutive zero inning, both batting against uh, David Phelps. So the score is still 6 nothing with Reese Hoskins up for us here in the fifth inning to lead off the pitch. And he gets a 6-8 batting right, and that is going to be a um, fly ball right. That's a second. He's 0 for 2, flew out to right both times, and Roman Quinn is the batter. Roman Quinn getting a 6-4 batting left, and that would be a catcher card X. The catcher is a 4-E-1. That is a 12 um, so it's an E1, it's on an E1, we got to check the error rating, 9, and 9 is going to be a ground ball C. So Quinn goes out 2-3, to three, and that brings up Andrew McCutcheon. 1 for 2 today, 
he gets a three, seven, and that is a walk. Bueller with only his second walk of the game. And Gregorius. Gregorius gets a 5-7 batting left, and that's going to be a strikeout. And Bueller has struck out eight guys through five innings. We go to the bottom of the fifth. Dodgers ahead 6 nothing in batting here against David Phelps, who's in his third inning of work. Mookie Betts comes up. He gets a 2-10. That's going to be a line out to second base. Bellinger is up. Bellinger gets a 2-7, and that's going to be a ground ball to the shortstop. He goes out 6-3. And Will Smith is up. And he gets a 3-8, and that's going to be a walk. So... First batter on for the Dodgers, um, maybe even at all, against Phelps. It is. And Justin Turner is the batter, and he gets a 311. 311 is a ground ball to the first baseman. And they get no runs. The Dodgers get no runs in the fifth. We go to the top of the sixth. Top of the sixth, and Bryce Harper is the batter. He gets a 5 8 batting left, and that is going to be a fly ball to center. One down quickly, and Goslin is up. Goslin gets a 4 7 batting right, that is going to be a walk. So Goslin has doubled, struck out, and walked. He's been one of the more effective guys against um, against Bueller here today. And Hazley is the batter with one down and one on. And he gets a 4-9 batting left, and that is going to be a strikeout. Second strikeout for Hazley. And the ninth on the game for Walker Bueller. And Real Muto. Real Muto gets a 4 6 batting right, and that is going to be a ground ball to the second baseman. The second baseman is for the Dodgers, is a 3 E17. That is a 2, so that's probably a base hit. And it is a single double asterisk, and we have runners at the corners. And he needed that hit, obviously, to help that batting average that is anemic. Fourth hit allowed for Bueller. We've got runners at the corners with two down. And Baum is the batter. And he gets a 3-7, which is going to be an out. It is a ground ball third base, just barely. 5-3. to three. We don't get any runs in the sixth. We go to the bottom of the sixth, and we have to take, I think we pretty much have to take uh, Phelps out, even though he pitched three great innings. Um, he is going to come out, and because uh, even back in the day, you didn't see relievers go more than three, usually. So we're going to get somebody else to come in and pitch. We're going to bring in Brandon Workman. So Workman comes in. He's going to have to give us some innings too. Uh, Chris Taylor is the batter here in the leading off the Dodger sixth with them leading six nothing, and he gets a two twelve, and that is going to be a hit by pitch. So Chris Taylor is. Hit by pitch to lead off the inning. Not how uh, Workman wanted to start out here with Pollock up. Pollock gets a 5-11 batting right, 
and that's going to be a ground ball to the first baseman. Unfortunately, the first baseman is not very good defensively. That is a 4E16, and that's a 9. So it's going to be an it's going to be on an E6 an air rating on five for 16 it is going to be an E1. How did I not know that was going to happen? And that brings up Barnes with two on and no outs. And he gets a two nine, and that's going to be a line out to third base. One down, two men on, Muncie up, top of the order for the Dodgers. Five nine batting left. That's going to be a strikeout. So uh, Workman has recovered nicely here after a hit by pitch and an error put the first two guys of the inning on with no outs and Seeger. And Seeger gets a 1-8, which is going to be a single double asterisk and score a run. So the Dodgers have runners at the corners. Workman gives up a hit and a run. And Mookie Betts is the bat. And he gets a four, he gets a four five batting right. And that's gonna be a strikeout. So he doesn't get out quite unscathed. Uh, he does strike out his second man in the first in, in his first inning of work. But the Dodgers score another run, and so they have now got seven runs, and I got to go get the seven. And there it is. Dodgers up 7-0, top of the seventh inning. Hoskins is the batter for us. Bueller is still out there pitching, and why not? And that is a 1-4, and that's going to be a walk for Hoskins, assuming that really was. Yes, it was. So it's Hoskins, and he walks to lead off the inning. For Bueller, that's his fourth walk issued of the game. And Roman Quinn is up. Roman Quinn getting a 2-3, and that's going to be a hit-by-pitch plus injury, and he's out for a while. So we are going to put him up there. He's going to be out for probably five games, and we'll have to get a pinch runner for him. The, um, yeah. the pinch runner will be Kyle Garlic. And that brings up McCutcheon with uh, uh, nobody out and two men on. He gets a 2-3, which is going to be a an out. That is going to be a line out to second base. One down. And D.D. Gregorius is up. He gets a 1-5. That's going to be a single double asterisk and score a run.
So we do have one run at least. Bueller giving up a hit. And his first run. Bryce Harper up. He gets a 1-7. That is going to be a walk to load the bases up. So we've got the bases loaded here. Got a chance to really get a little closer here if we can just keep this going. Um, Goslin is the batter. Phil Goslin. He gets a 6-5 batting right. And that's going to be a... Let's see. It is a home run. It's a grand slam for Goslin. Unbelievable. So Bueller, Bueller gives up a hit. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And uh, I mean, we're right back in this game. It's seven. It's going to be seven to five when I put the uh, you know when I put the five out there. And there's still um, only one out. Uh, is that right? One out. Yeah. And Hazley is the batter. Hazley gets a six-seven batting left, and that's going to be a strikeout. Bueller striking out his tenth guy. That is the tenth man he struck out, and. Real Muto is the bat. And Real Muto gets a 312, which is a walk. So it just keeps on coming. Well, at least we showed a little fight here. Alec Bob is the batter, and he gets a 4 3 batting right. And that is going to be a fly to left. Their left fielder is a. Um, that's Pollock. Didn't write him down, so let's see what he is. He is a 3E4, and that is a 16. 16 and 3, probably an out, and it is. It is a fly ball A, though, but that was the third out, so... So we strike for an incredible five runs off of Bueller there in the seventh. So let me go get that. And the score is seven to five. I'm going to keep Workman out there. He's not, he doesn't have the greatest card in the world, but we'll see what he can do. Bellinger is the back. Bellinger gets a two eight and that's going to be a walk. So, not starting out real well here. And I'm going to get, uh, let's see, who we're going to get up. Going to get Blake Parker up in the bullpen. Will Smith is the batter. He gets a 1-4, and that's going to be a hit by pitch plus injury, but it's a 1, so he's only temporarily injured and remains in the game. That's the second guy that um, Workman has hit. And there are no outs here with two on and Justin Turner, the batter, and he gets a 3-9, and that's going to be a ground ball C, move runners over to second and third. Which brings up Chris Taylor. Chris Taylor gets a 3-9. And that is going to be, incredibly, it's going to be a double. And knock in both runs. And so Workman not really doing well here. His job was to try to hold the line and he couldn't do it. So uh, he gives up a hit. He gives up two more runs. And um, we're going to have to bring in uh, Blake Parker. So Workman only goes one and a third. We're really hoping for a little more than that from him. 
with Pollock up. And um, Pollock gets a 1 5, and that's going to be a ground ball pitcher A. So that is two down. And Barnes is the batter. And he gets a 1-8, which is a strikeout. And uh, Parker with the K. And uh, they, they get the Dodgers strike for two more, though. So they have now got nine runs. It is now 9-5. to five. Dodgers with Alec Baum up and we are going to take Bueller out of the game. Bueller is done. He goes seven in line for the win, but he gave up six hits and 10 runs or um, five runs, six hits and five runs. And uh, they are going to bring in Jake McGee. Jake McGee comes in to try to slow us down. We're down by four now, but uh, we were down by as much as like seven before. So top of the eighth, Alec Baum up. And he gets a 6-5 batting right. And that's going to be a home run, Alec Baum. So he comes in and greets McGee with a home run. And it is 9-6 now with Hoskins up. And Hoskins gets 2-7. That's going to be a walk. Still no outs. Top of the lineup. And this is going to be Garlic, who is now in left field. And uh, Hazley moves to center. And he gets a 5-9 batting right, and that's going to be a strikeout. And Andrew McCutcheon. And he gets a 1-7, and that's a strikeout. Oh, wait a minute. one seven. Yeah, it's a ground ball second. So we get no runs in the eighth. We go to the bottom of the eighth inning. And uh, we did get another run. So let me go get the six for us. And it is nine six as we go to the bottom of the eighth inning with Max Muncy up. Parker still out there. He gets a 5-4 batting left, and that's going to be a ground ball to the third baseman. The third baseman for us is a 4-E-18. That is an 8. That's going to be on the air rating of 18. That is a 9. And a 9 is going to be a ground ball out. 5-3. Corey Seager is up. He gets a 5-3 batting left. And that's going to be a ground ball to the pitcher. And the pitcher is a... Um, he's a 3-E-0. That is a 15, probably going to be an out. It is. It's, an, it's on the air rating, and it's a 0, so he's out. So it's 1-3. And Betts is the batter. And he gets a 4-3 batting left. And that's going to be a single. First hit allowed by Parker since he's come on. And Bellinger's up. He gets a 5-11 
5'11 is going to be batting left as a strikeout. Parker with his second strikeout since coming on for Workman. They get no runs. We go to the top of the ninth, and we need three runs. And McGee is going to come out. McGee only goes one inning. And they are going to bring in the guy who is their, you know, you know who they're going to bring in? They're going to bring in Joe Kelly. They're going to bring in Joe Machine Gun Kelly. Even though this is a save opportunity, and usually you would see um, Kenley Jansen, or right now Jansen. But instead, they're going to go with Kelly. And we got Gregorius. Batting against him, he gets a 2-12, and that is going to be a, is that a ballpark home run? That is going to be a ballpark home run for Gregorius. So, Joe Kelly gives up a hit, he gives up a run, an earned run, and a home run, and it is, uh... Let me, let me, let's go, let's do this real time. We're going to go it, put the seven up. It is nine to seven. Now we're only down by two. And Bryce Harper is the batter. And Bryce Harper gets a five, five batting left. And that's going to be a walk. Oh, that might've been a very bad choice to go with uh, Kelly. Even though Kelly was really good in 2020, Phil Goslin up. He gets a 5-8 batting right. That's going to be a ground ball to the second baseman. Or wait a minute. No, it's going to be it's going to be a it's going to be a double. So, did they have two guys on? Did we have two guys on? No, we had one. So, yeah. It's going to be a double and moves runners to second and third. And now they are going to get Jansen up in the bullpen. And uh, Goslin today is, he is, I mean, Goslin has had a day. He's three for four with a walk and a strikeout and a home run. Adam Hazley is up. Hazley gets a 2-7, and that is going to be a... That's going to be a ground ball, second base, B. And ground ball, B, I guess the runners hold. So um, that's 4-3. That's only the first out. I think that's only the first out, right? Yep, that's only the first out. Real Muto is up. And with Real Muto up, they're going to take Joe Kelly out. Joe Kelly only goes um, one-third of an inning. And now they are going to bring in Jansen. Kenley Jansen comes in. Trying to save the day here because if we get a single double asterisk, we tie the game. Anything like that, we tie the game with Real Muto up. And that is a 6 9 batting right. And that is going to be a strikeout. Real Muto strikes out. And there's two down. And now it's all up to Alec Baum. And he gets a 5-8 batting right. And that's going to be a ground ball to the second baseman. The second baseman for the Dodgers is a 3-E-17. That is an 18. That doesn't look good. It looks like it's going to be an out. It is, and that's how the game ends. He goes out 4-3, Bomb does. And we end up losing the game by the score, the tight score of 9-7. The uh, losing pitcher, I believe, is Workman, and the winner would be Bueller with a save going to Jansen. 
And that is going to be it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.